<clears throat> What's up guys, DRock1992 here. For this next video and for my next movie review, I am going to be talking about a movie that came out last year, uh, that came out during the summer of last year. And it was a movie that made some money, for sure, at the box office. And, uh, you know, it, it was uh, one of those summer movies that was pretty, relatively successful. And um, this movie is The Legend of Tarzan. So, The Legend of Tarzan, first of all, Tarzan the character is a, a character who was created by the author Edgar Rice Burroughs who wrote a whole series of Tarzan books. Books about the ape man Tarzan, King of the Jungle. So, now this is another movie, like um, my last review, The Jungle Book, that had, an an that had an animated movie counterpart. Tarzan had its animated movie counterpart in 1999, when the animated film came out. And this animated film I grew up with. I grew up with Tarzan. I enjoyed the film a lot. You know, a lot of memorable performances in the film. And, you know, the music and all that was great as well. So, yeah, I have a lot of memories of that animated Tarzan film. Now, they've made some Tarzan films since. You know, they, they've made a lot of Tarzan films over the years. A lot of versions. This version has Alexander Skarsgård, who's a Swedish actor, uh, as Tarzan himself. So Alexander Skarsgård stars as Tarzan, um, and the story is about Tarzan, uh, and Tarzan has to rescue his wife, Jane Porter, uh, and he also has to make sure, he also has to protect his people, the people that he once represented. So the story begins, and the story begins with him in England, basically. Um, you know, he left the jungle, and he's living a life in England. He's very reluctant to go back to Africa, after receiving an invitation, he finally does it, but he figures out it's a trap. And there's this Captain Leon Rom, who is the main antagonist of the film, played by Christoph Waltz. Uh, he is looking to take over the region, uh, take over the Congo region, uh, which is the jungle where Tarzan is, you know, he's looking to take over the Congo region, enslave the people, and create um, a territory for his ruler, King Leopold II of Belgium. So Tarzan has to stop him from his dastardly plan, uh, has to stop Leon Rom from doing all this, and he's also got to rescue Jane from uh, Leon Rom himself. Uh, Jane Porter is played by Margot Robbie. Uh, so, yeah, Alexander Skarsgård plays Tarzan. Margot Robbie plays uh, uh, Jane Porter. Christoph Waltz plays Leon Rom, the main antagonist. And Samuel L. Jackson plays George Washington Williams, who is a friend of Tarzan's, the main sidekick. And what turns out to be the comic relief. So, yeah, basically the plot, what I just explained about the plot and all that is basically the main plot of this film. So, getting into the performances and all that, uh, the two main stars, the, the two main standouts of this film, Margot Robbie as Jane was great. I mean, I really liked her... I really liked what she brought to the character of Jane, um, proving that Jane's not exactly a damsel in distress type character. She's a tough woman, you know? She's, uh... She can stand up for herself and all that. So, I really did enjoy Margot Robbie's performance. 
And I'll be honest, at first, I thought that Samuel L. Jackson as George Washington Williams with the humor and the comic relief, I kind of thought that was out of place in this movie. Turns out it was pretty well in place. I really, I enjoyed Sam Jackson's character. I thought it was well, I thought um, he did a good job in the movie and all that. Sam Jackson, um, I have a little bit of bias there too because Sam Jackson is one of my favorite actors uh, working today. And, um, but yeah, he, he did a good job in this film for sure. And uh, you really got to admire the, the performance he had. Christoph Waltz as Leon Rom did a good job uh, playing the villain. It's a typical Christoph Waltz villain performance. He could play some good villains. You know, he has proven that over his career. And, uh, you know, Christoph Waltz just shines in this film as the bad guy. Uh, not the most memorable villainous performance he ever put out, but certainly a pretty good one. And then, probably the weakest point in the movie is the lead guy himself, Tarzan. Alexander Skarsgård playing Tarzan felt at times, you know, I didn't love the performance of Alexander Skarsgård as Tarzan because I thought he was too serious some of the time. Then again, I didn't really think also that Sam Jackson was in place in this movie because The Legend of Tarzan is a serious movie, very serious movie, and yet there's some lightheartedness thrown in there. You know, Sam Jackson being all Sam Jackson in this movie. Um, and I'll argue, too, that Sam Jackson probably played himself more than he played his character of George Washington Williams. So, but still, you know, the lightheartedness was a breath of fresh air, sort of, in the movie a little bit. Um, it kind of saved the movie from becoming too, too serious. And maybe, consequently, boring. Uh, but, yeah, I, um, I enjoyed the... I enjoy, Overall, I enjoyed this movie... Um, I enjoyed the drama and the seriousness of this film, but also some of the lighthearted moments that came out of the movie as well. So, um, but yeah, there's something to be said, though. There is something to be said about the weakest point of the movie being the lead character in the movie. Now... The Legend of Tarzan kind of reminds me of Man of Steel. Man of Steel, uh, I do not think Henry Cavill is good as Superman is at all. So, Superman being the lead character in Man of Steel, I didn't think Henry Cavill did a good job as Superman. But, I liked the movie around him. And that's why I gave Man of Steel a positive review. This time around with Legend of Tarzan... Yeah, I didn't necessarily love Alexander Skarsgård's performance. I thought he was okay, but I liked the other people around him. Sam Jackson, Margot Robbie, and Christoph Waltz, in particular, gave good performances. So, to that effect, I, I've got to give The Legend of Tarzan a good rating here. Um, now, I went back and forth between a 3 and a 4 a three-star or four-star rating. I'm going to give it a three, but it's very close to a four. Uh, but it's going to be a three. Um, I thought the film started out a little slow, you know, a little slow for my taste, but it really did pick up as it went on. Um, good characters, you know, Sam Jackson and Margot Robbie were the standouts for me. Christoph Waltz did a pretty good job. And despite Skarsgård not doing the greatest as Tarzan, the movie around him still was good enough for me to give a positive review to. You know. So yeah, I, I enjoyed The Legend of Tarzan. Would I watch it again? Yeah, probably. You know. 
Would I buy it on Blu-ray or DVD? No, probably not, but it's a good cable watch for sure. Um, and so I give it a positive 3 out of 5, basically. And that is going to be it for my review on... Actually, no, not quite yet. The director... Um, the director is a notable director, David Yates, who directed the last four Harry Potter movies. Um, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and the two Deathly Hallows parts. He directed the last four of those. So... He directed this uh, Legend of Tarzan movie as well, and he did a pretty good job with the movie. So I had to kind of give him a little shout-out, but that's pretty much it for this review of The Legend of Tarzan. D-Rock 1992, out.